Hey guys, MJ here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we're going to look at the MH12 version 2. Alright, finally this is here. Now this is officially Nightcore's go-to flashlight. So whenever someone asks me, hey, hey, what light do you recommend today? I don't know what I'm looking for. I just want a solid tactical light that is rechargeable, you know, does a thousand lumens and above and you know, all the best of the best. What do we recommend? The MH12 version 2. Alright, look at that. Okay, again, this comes from a long line of uh, night call iteration. So it all started from the MH12. Then it went into MH12 GT, MH12 GTS, and now finally the MH12 version 2. Alright, so again, they've taken all the best learnings from all the other lights, all the different UI, the functions, and slapped it all into the MH12 version 2. So close up look at the light, how it looks like. Okay, 25mm bezel, so you can feel a ton of attachments here. One of the best things you realize is the charging port. Charging port is a USB-C charging port, okay? Look at the rear tail cap. Soft momentary switch, so you can signal with this. Okay, this is a true tactical light, unlike some lights that you can't actually signal with this. You, this has silent signals. Once you click on, change mode, just press this one. 1 lumen, to 55, to 300, to 1200 lumens. Okay, 1200 lumens runs for... 3 hours 45 minutes that is very very long compared to the earlier earlier lights like these okay which are limited to about maybe 30 minutes at most so there are still many lights on the market that only run about 30 minutes on turbo whereas this runs 3 hours 45 minutes and if you drop it down to the second brightest one which is 300 lumens so still very decent it runs for an amazing 8 hours all right so 8 hours of runtime on this is because of the type of battery it uses. Okay, so all of these modern lights use bigger batteries. So this is what it uses inside. It's a 21700 battery, 5000 milliampere. Okay, so compared to the older lights which use 18650, which caps out at 3500. That's where the additional runtime comes in. Okay, so if you want to compare it to the AA battery, this is how a AA battery looks like. Okay, so if you're still using AA battery lights and you want to upgrade to a modern flashlight, this is the kind of batteries that you're gonna get into. Much bigger, higher voltage battery that will give you the punch you need to reach a thousand lumens and beyond. Alright, All right, so apart from the normal operation modes, there is also SOS beacon and strobe modes, which of course a tactical light must have. So how do you get to that? Once you're on the light, press and hold the mode button here. There you got into your strobe. So this is a random strobe, incredibly blinding. Press and hold again, then your cycle beacon and go into your SOS. Okay, so this SOS 3 long 3 short. Alright, let's talk about charging. Okay, so the, this MH12 version 2 comes with a built-in fast charger. Okay, many lights have built-in chargers but they are very slow. About 6 to 8 hours to charge like the i4000 and all that. But this takes only 4 hours to charge 5000 milliampere. That is very very fast. Here it is, USB-C port here. So you realize for USB-C's right, there is no uh, direction requirements. You can slot this in left right so i have it plugged into a uh, power station but you can use any power bank or usb port okay so once you put it in here once it's in you can see that it's the blue light will be blinking so this is a charging indicator when it's charging it will blink slow like this once it's fully charged it will stay constant on all right it's simple as that okay so if you're worried about hey i i don't want to you know buy these uh, big batteries can i still use my old cr123 batteries or my old 18650 batteries yes you can okay so it does come with this uh, battery magazine this is how it looks like so you can if you're still using your old uh, 18650 batteries you can slot it in or you can put two times cr123 and it is the equivalent size of a 21700 battery okay then you can just drop this entire thing into the back of the light and then you're good to go And there you have your MH12 running on 18650 batteries and it still maintains 1200 lumens. There's no loss of lumens regardless, you know, the kind of battery that you use. Okay, another question will be, is the charging port waterproof? Okay, yes. Even if the entire rubber snaps off, the charging port is still waterproof. So of course, we have our trusty fish tank and I'm gonna show you. Yeah, yes, you can open the port behind and dunk, get, and dunk the whole thing in. Okay, so you can see that the port here is open, right? Can you still change modes underwater? So not a problem. Of course, this entire thing is waterproof down to two meters. It's not for diving, so don't don't make it diving. But any kind of rain or all of that, don't worry. Okay, the whole thing is waterproof. All right. 
the airport is open. NDF25 and NTW25. So once you fix this in, it converts your flashlight into a emergency traffic cone. Okay, so especially for law enforcement or traffic or you know anyone that needs these kind of things, perfectly useful. Okay, you can also attach the lantern. So this actually diffuses the light. There you go. So now you have a perfectly nice lantern at 1200 lumens. Okay, look, it's complete nice flood. Okay, so there's a spot here. Once you put on the lantern full on flood okay so you can hang it here all right filters like this okay color filters there you go to change the color of your beam turn on and then you have your red light okay so there is green blue red and a white diffuse filters available this is how the filter fits on it's just a straight cap on cap off cap on all right okay next up will be carry option so it does come with this holster here the ntl 10 quick draw holster okay there you go once it's in, you can see that you can still can access this and you can still turn it on and which means you can also mount it on your uh, bag or whatever. For those of you using a shoulder, shoulder mounted vest, you can do this because there is a hole at the bottom. The light does shine through and you can still adjust the mode even though it's in the holster. All right. The holster does come with uh, different belt slots so you can move this up or down depending on how thick your belt is and it's a quick draw. All right. Other attachments include the lanyard cable, pocket clip, you know, all the standard uh, Nikkor accessories are in the pack. And you can also fit the NTR 10 here, which is your grip ring, which gives you an additional, you know, finger pull, finger retention too. So if you prefer something like that, even more tactical use, then you can get the NTR 10. All right. So a lot of people will ask, hey, what's the difference between the new P12, MH10 and MH12, right? They're all similar spec and similar price. Here is the difference. Okay, I'm going to show you. P new P12, MH12 V2 and MH10. Between the new P12 and MH12 version 2, the only difference is the charging port. Okay, the P12 does not have a built-in charging port, even though the battery performance, tail cap, mode switch, everything is exactly the same. Alright, so if you've been, if you own the new PTL or wondering to buy the new PTL but you, it doesn't have a USB charging port, now you do with the MH12 version too. So this is a step up from the older PTL. Okay, then we compare it with the MH10 version too. Everything is the same, it does have the same waterproof charging port here at the bottom. Only difference is the MH12 has a tail cap switch at the back where the MH10 does not. Okay, so, hey, I want that USB fast charging, but, oh, I wanted a tail cap switch. Well, now you have. All right, so they took all the features of the new P12, combined it with the fast charging of the MH10, and out came the MH12 version 2. All right, this is the best of the best that you can get now if you're still using any of the older lights. This is a perfect medium range 200 meter beam light. That's waterproof, even a charging port is waterproof. This will last you for a very long time. It uses state of the art modern batteries that are also found in Tesla cars. It's the same battery, so you, you literally cannot go wrong with this. All right. So if you look, if you've been looking for a huge upgrade, this is the light to go for, and you have to buy it now because NUP30 tactical pouch. All right. So this, yes, this entire pouch comes with the light. So I won't go through what. This, I mean, features of this pouch, but it is a very nice utility pouch. It comes with a shoulder sling as well. So this is made for a perfect add-on to any backpack, or you can use it on its own. It doesn't stop there. We're also throwing in the Tiki light here. All right. And the last but not least, last year we gave this away, the NWG binoculars, and then it was so popular, many of you wanted to buy it. So we've been selling this at $49. This is the NWG 8x22 binoculars. Okay, now we've been hunting for binoculars for the longest time because I saw at Toys R Us a kid's binoculars cost way more than a real tactical binocular, something like this, right? A legit waterproof big eye relief, so it's very easy to see kind of binoculars. Okay, so these are all adjustable as well. Okay, these are clear, these are sharp with hunted down the same factory that builds all the high-end binoculars and bought this OEM. So there's no branding on any of this. Very sharp, very bright and very clear. Okay, this will come in a nice carry case. Again, everything you get with the MH12, once you buy the MH12 version 2, you will get 
the NUP 30 pouch, you will get the binoculars, you will get the Tiki light, and you will get the MH12 like this, all for only $159, alright? These are all available, the sets are all in stock and good to go at nightcallites.com. This deal again is not available anywhere else, it's the best launch offer for the MH12 version 2. And as usual, this comes with the 5 year warranty. Order now before it's all sold out again, this is the new MH12 version 2.